hello welcome back to my channel please subscribe to my channel like my videos and check out my channel for other updates so the last update about twist of fate ram caught prachi at the hospital and asked her about her pregnancy but prachi still lied to ram and ram promised not to forgive prachi if he later finds out that prachi lied to him about anything let's continue vikram tells ram that he can proudly say that he is a good husband but he is not a good father ram says it is not like that you are drunk. Vikram says this drink gives courage to our heart to speak the truth and says thanks to this, all my senses have opened up. He asks him to hear carefully. Ramru says my ears are open too. I want to hear everything. Vikram says you are the best son in the world, but I am not the best father. Ramru says you are the best father of this world and you have done so much for me. Vikram says when you needed my support, I couldn't support you when you brought Prachi home. He says you thought about our happiness. Rambro says we will forget everything and we will start afresh. He says young Koli will drink with you. He drinks with him and asks, how did you drink this? My senses is gone. Vikram says my beer drinking son is drinking whiskey with his father today. Rambro says very naughty. Vikram says I had a girlfriend in my college. Don't tell your mommy. Rambro gets drunk and says that he shall go and sleep. He says good night. Vikram says the same thing. Ramru says, I am hearing the same thing. Vikram asks him not to say what he is going to say. Ramru says, good night and says, let's go. Else mommy will beat us. Vikram says, this is my room. Ramru says, good night. He goes to his room and finds the room locked. He says, I will take care of my chick chick. He opens the door and gets inside. He sees Prache sleeping and comes to her bed and says she is looking cute and lovely like an angel. He looks at her. A song plays in the background. Rambro is about to kiss on Prachi's forehead and thinks that it is wrong. I will kiss you when you are awake. He says you did not feel it when I hug you. He says you don't hate me and says you fight with me for every matter. He says father drinks whiskey, hiding from mommy, but I will not touch wine if you tell me once. He says I love you the most and asks her to tell him once that she loves him too. Rambro has a headache and thinks to take medicine. He thinks that where did I keep the medicine? And thinks to search in the drawer. He sits on the bed and opens the drawer where Prachi had kept the fowl. Prachi wakes up and asks, What do you want? Rambro falls on her lap and sleeps immediately. Prachi smiles and lets Rambro sleep on her lap. A song plays in the background. Prachi locks the drawer and keeps the key with herself. Alia comes to the kitchen and finds the window open. She says, Let it be open and looks for the water in the fridge. She takes the bottle and thinks that the house is silent as if some storm is going to come. Aliyah says Prachi would wake up and she will search for a reason to make Maria cry. She looks at Rambro and Prachi sleeping in Prachi's room and she thinks that they had a big fight and even then they are together in the room. She calls Palavi. Palavi wakes up and sees Aliyah's call. Vikram wakes up and asks whose call is it. Palavi says it is her friend's call and asks him to sleep. She comes out and asks Aliyah, why did you call me? I am not single. Aliyah says, of course I know, and says that even Maria is not single. Palavi says Vikram woke up hearing the call. Aliyah asks Palavi to come to Prachi's room and says you would understand if you come there. Palavi comes there and says if you don't get sleep, that doesn't mean that you wake others up. Aliyah signs at Prachi and Rambro in the room. Palavi says this cannot happen. I cannot see this. This is terrible. There is a limit of shamelessness. Aliyah says Prachi is shameless and mannerless and she is proving that she is. She says we have to separate them. Palavi says I thought they would not look at each other's face after the big fight. Aliyah asks Palavi to bring Rhea and Rambro closer and asks if she cannot separate Rambro and Prachi. Palavi says Aliyah is right and says she will talk to them in the morning. Aliyah asks what was your plan? Prachi wakes up in the morning and sees Rambro sitting on the sofa. She asks what are you doing here? Rambro asks her not to get up from the bed and brings tea for her. He says, I thought to drink tea with you when Niti brought it. Rambro asks Prachi to drink tea. Prachi says, I don't want to drink. Rambro asks why. Prachi asks, why did you drink wine? Rambro says, I drank it so that my senses get opened and I could see what was eating from me. Prachi looks at the keys which she had eaten. He says, so you had eaten this keys and says, that means that you have locked the drawer. Prachi asks Rambro to leave her room. He shows her the medicine strip and asks, what is it? Prachi says, I don't want to answer you. Rambro says, that is why I brought the proof. He says, according to the internet, 
This medicine is taken for baby's growth, and whoever takes it is pregnant. Rambro shows her the info on the tablet. Prachi is shocked. Rambro tells Prachi that the medicine is taken for baby's growth, and whoever girl that takes it, it means that she is pregnant. Prachi says you have forgotten your attitude and habit, and says you did not ask me if I am having an affair with Sidat, but you told me that I am having an affair with Sidat. Rambro says they are two different things. Prachi says it is the same, and says you are even now raising fingers on my character, and says you taught me characterless when you saw me with Sidat on the bed, and says your next question will be if I am pregnant with Sidat's child. Rambro gets angry and raises hand on Prachi, but he stops himself. He folds his hand and says, sorry, I shouldn't have blamed you or I shouldn't have raised finger on your character. He apologizes and says, I know you will not forgive me, but I will apologize to you all my life. He says, I couldn't become a good husband and I couldn't take care of you. Rambro says to Prachi that you gave me the best husband's title, which I don't deserve. He says, I raised my hand to wipe your tears or to set your hair. And today, this hand, he says, sorry and apologize to her and says I couldn't bear it. He says you thought that I would blame you even now, and that is why you did not tell me the truth. Rambro says to Prachi that if you have trusted me, then you would have told me that Rambro, we are pregnant. Prachi says we are not pregnant. Rambro is shocked and says don't say this. He says I know that you are lying. Prachi says we are not pregnant, and says I had tried always not to become pregnant with your child. Rambro says don't say this. I know that you are angry and ask her to kill him, but she should not say this. He says, you know so well that my baby's dream is bigger than any other dreams. He says, I know we are pregnant and ask her to tell him once. Prachi pushes Rambro and says, I am not pregnant. Prachi says, I never wanted to become the mother of your baby. A song plays in the background. She says, I am not pregnant. We are not pregnant. Rambro says, you are lying. Prachi says, did I tell you once that I want to be the mother of your child? And I always focused on your career and says I cannot think of baby and it was a order for my career and I never wanted to become a mother of your baby. Prachi says to Rambro that you have focus for your startup and I should have sit at home and undo your kids. Rambro says you are lying. You are resting since you came here. You was not career oriented. He says I know you are pregnant. Prachi says you are mad and says that was not resting but the realization. Prachi says, I have seen your startup picked up and you are wealthy now and his wife shall not work and enjoy. She says, I have diverted my focus from career to enjoyment and you thought that I am pregnant. Rambro says, I don't trust you. Prachi says, you think that I lie and that is why you believe that I have an affair with Sedat. Prachi says, I will not take up this blame as you are connecting me with yours. She says, my love was truthful. I did love you, but it was not big that I sacrificed my future and career. She says, this baby was your dream, but not my dream. She says, if your baby was like you, then with whom will I eat? Prachi says, I am happy that you stay away from me and you don't call me Prachi Prachi. She says, if your baby was with me, then how would I live happily? Rambo tries to go disheartened. Prachi says, I have forgotten all your dreams and asks him to forget as well and says it can never be fulfilled, not in this bad at least. A song plays in the background. Rambro goes from there sad and upset. He recalls Prachi's words and cries. Prachi also cries, keeping her hand on her chest and sits on the bed. A song plays in the background. Rambro goes to his room and cries. He messes up the room and throws the things around. Prachi hears the noise and cries. Rambro falls down on the floor and cries. Prachi also falls down on the floor and cries. Rhea comes to Alia and Palavi and says, Good morning. She asks, Why are you both tensed? Alia says, We are waiting for you and says that you are going for honeymoon. Palavi asks her to decide where she wants to go and says I will get the ticket booked. Rhea says we are just warming up and our relationship just started and says if we push Rambro too hard, then he will flip and says this is not the right time to go for honeymoon. Palavi asks her if she wants to make Rambro yours fully or not and says I would undo him. She asks do you and do you not want a new beginning? Rhea says of course I am and says don't know how Rambro will react and he can refuse or get upset. She says we can go after a few days. Palavi recalls Rambro's closeness with Prachi. Alia says if not now, then it will be never and says we feel that he shall go now, else it might get too late. Rhea asks why. Palavi asks Rhea not to ask many questions with them. 
Rhea says I am very happy, but Rambro would refuse. Balavi says I will take care of all that and says I don't want to ask him, but I have to inform him. She goes. Rhea thinks that Rambro will refuse surely. Rambro gets ready to go to the office in a hurry. Grandma asks where is he going to. He says important meeting. He asks Grandma and takes her blessings. He sees Shahana coming there and says that he has done a big mistake and says I saw your pregnancy medicine in Prachi's room and asks if Prachi is pregnant. Prachi comes there. Rambro says we will talk later. He asks Palavi why she is tensed. Palavi says I just need to talk to you about something important and says everyone is laughing at me and says I can undo the neighbors but the matter reached my club members. I can undo them too but now the matter is about my image. Rambro asks what are you saying? Palavi says everyone is expecting me to throw your reception and says a big reception party like we the colleagues give which did not happen. She says someone is saying that I am a miser mother-in-law and not sending my son and daughter-in-law for outing. She says I got tagged as a conservative mother-in-law who did not send you both to honeymoon. Rambro says I understand what you think. He looks at Prachi and recalls her words that she doesn't want to be his baby's mother and that she is not pregnant and that the baby was never a dream. Rambro says it to be cold in Manali and asks Rhea if she will come to Manali for honeymoon. Prachi looks on. Rhea says of course I will come. Rambro looks at Prachi. Thank you for watching my videos. Please don't forget to like my video, share it and please subscribe to my channel for more updates. Thank you.